on a subject. All right, check this out. So you know Connor Hawk, who has had a weird sort of past. Connor Hawk, that is, and DC Comics, who you know has basically been played as an Arrow. Uh, he was the son of you know Green Arrow for for a bit there, and of Oliver, and all of that. And it's funny how I think actually that his. All right, let me say this. I have to set the scene. I, I forget that, you know, sometimes y'all don't know this stuff or it flies under the radar. So as part of the pride, DC pride stuff, they made Connor Hawk asexual. OK, that's what happened. Obviously, that had never been the case. It was actually the complete opposite um, of that. And there has been a tiny and I mean tiny sector of the Internet of normies who have wanted to make this character gay, actually. Chuck Dixon, who I've had on the show, good friend of mine. In fact, we were emailing about some stuff that he sent to me uh, yesterday. I'm probably going to get him back on the show soon to talk about some of that. And Chuck, who is, he knows not only the Bat family, like the back of his hand, he's a prominent writer, definitely throughout the 90s and all of that. And they made Connor Hawk, who he basically was it, 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 the definitive Connor Hawk that you get that because you get Chuck Dixon. And Chuck Dixon would always be like, what are y'all talking about? He's not gay, any of that shit. But of course, they couldn't accept that. They, they couldn't accept that. And I think they did that out of spite because Chuck Dixon more aligns with people like me on a lot of the issues that are wrong with comics. So CBR, Shield Media site, who gets all the axes, this is what they said. Connor Hawk's sexuality has been a topic of discussion since nearly the moment of his debut. A robust collection of fans, this is not true, uh, began to speculate he was queer early on. That did not happen. Uh, there were people that assumed it that were part of the co- a pocket of the Internet. And Chuck Dixon says soon even characters within the book follow suit. However, Green Arrow writer of the era, Chuck Dixon, uh, frequently and loudly disputed such claims. That should be it, right? That should be it. Guy writing this shit, not the guy that wrote it, the guy right, that was actually writing this, because you got to remember, there are writers that wrote stuff and then they try to retroactively change shit to gaslight their audience. We're not talking about that. We're talking about guy writing it said it was not the case that should have been it so when it comes to the gospel on the issue chuck dixon has that okay he said and they and they even acknowledge it they said chuck dixon frequently and loudly disputed such claims that should be it (laughs) the guy that created the shit that was he's saying that's not what happened okay that should be it but they couldn't accept no for an answer. DC has now declared, because now DC is ran by a bunch of hacks, that the younger Green Arrow, the son of Oliver Queen, is now asexual. But CBR knows that, well, okay, we have evidence in the books that is canon of him kissing up on women. So they got to try to make sense of it. It says it's a positive and intriguing development for the character. It honors certain signs that have been arisen over the uh, character's lifespan in a way that accounts for individual self-discovery. Because you can't be an individualist and actually care about your own self and also be a straight man. Additionally, it provides a more complex explanation for Hawk's discomfort and confusion about romantic entanglements with women than simply he didn't kiss as many women as his dad because he's gay. However, as elegant a development as it is, it cannot erase a truly unpleasant story Hawk once endured. And what they're saying, and this hack writer is basically saying, well, we as the access media got to try to cover the ass of DC because we know that people that actually read the shit are going to point to his past 
So we don't want that to be the case. So we got to say now it's like traumatic that it he was just written as a straight fucking man before. And it was uncomfortable. So while readers who thought there are plenty of uh, textual indication for Hawk's queerness, including Green Lantern, uh, Kyle Rayner outright misuse uh, moosing that, that his fellow hero might be gay during their hard traveling heroes, the next generation crossover, Dixon was ultimately guiding the character's actions. As a result, the writer shored up Hawk's hetero bona fides and Green Arrow, which was written by the guy that's writing Cutter Hawk. So basically they're suggesting, okay, bet. Chuck Dixon, the writer who has told you that he is not what y'all try to make him out. Yeah. You're the this corner of the fandom, which again, I don't think are actual fans, who wants him to be gay so bad. Chuck Dixon says, okay, he's not. I'm telling you that he's not, and I am going to double down on that fact. And CBR is mad at that. When he penned a storyline that saw the young Archer engaging in a heterosexual physical relationship with a ghost. This being comics, one could give Hawk uh, and Spectral First Love Lady Wren some leeway. Superman dated a mermaid. Hellcat dated the son of Satan. And Deadpool uh, probably kissed a Bigfoot a time or two. Relationships in comics can be strange. So why are you writing this? Nor is this incident especially unpleasant tale noted. Many individuals who identify as queer have stories of heterosexual encounters. All right. Queer means weird for those that are trying to keep up with all these terms, which I guess asexual would make you weird. But again, if you were actually asexual, why are you getting in and shacking up with women? You know what I mean? And enjoying it more importantly. Uh, we're saying it was what they wanted because they were in an environment where it had been dangerous to admit otherwise. So he's saying that, well, in the real world, people that are queer only engage in this because it's dangerous not to engage in it. Regardless of the reason, one's understanding of one's sexuality often evolves over time. So, hey, it makes, they say, oh, well, he evolved. Yeah, he's just now, he's gay out of nowhere, or asexual, they're saying asexual, excuse me, out of nowhere. And sure, we have evidence, but that's because he evolved into being fucking asexual. Hawk's first physically int intimate encounter with a woman uh, doesn't invalidate his reveal. Yes, it does. The, they're projecting God. The, the, this is what the Senate says. Again, Hawk's first physically intimate encounter with a woman doesn't invalidate his revealing his status and his living uh, and living his life as uh, ace to date. Yes, it does. And now we have him kissing up on the woman it happened as noted writer chuck dixon was adamant in his assertion that connor hawk was not a gay character he eventually began to add that he felt gay characters in superhero comics were hailed wrong that's not the statement he cited the works of judd J uh, 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 judd winnick and grant morrison in particular as guilty of this attempt to tell Dixon's and presumably everybody, everyone else's children about lifestyles before he and his and, and other parents did. That's more in regards to the grooming element of it all. The declaration came out around the same time as a 2007 limited series, Connor Hawk, Dragon Blood, Blood, which was written by Chuck Dixon. It saw Dixon returning the character he wrote for the first time in nearly a decade, despite that ghost love story readers continue to theorize about Hawk's queerness. Okay. When he says readers, he's saying a corner of the internet that wanted to claim him as their own to advance their social agendas. Wanted this man to be that that's it. Despite that ghost love story, readers had continued to theorize about it. They say many took it as so obvious that even CBR cited Hawk as possibly closeted in 2017 because Y'all are chicken shit and y'all, that's what y'all exist to do, right? Do goofy stuff like that. 
Again, it was not that Connor had an intimate encounter with another woman that was so distasteful. Having a character that you sure that you're sure is queer, then be asserted as heterosexual can be nothing but upset. What? Be upsetting, annoying, and frustrating, and more. So he's basically saying that because y'all took it one way. That's the fault of like Chuck Dixon because y'all took it away. However, given that when it came to Connor Hawk, that had never been a more than head cannon, it can quite rise to the level of deplorable. Okay, y'all took it away. Chuck told y'all that was never the case. You didn't want to believe it. And because there's more evidence of him kissing women, you feel uncomfortable. This is fucking ridiculous. The specific choice of sexual partner, however, is where Connor Hawk really goes awry. We see Connor Hawk yet again kissing a woman. Lured into archery contest, Connor encounters Shadow, who has a history with Hawk's father, Oliver Queen, including a including son, Robert. Hawk viewed her as some wariness, believing she corrupted Queen into uh, leaving the path of a hero for that of a man who murders his enemies. Unbeknownst to Hawk, Shadow also. Uh, forced herself upon Queen. Connor's uh, half brother is, in fact, the result of non non uh, consensual encounter between Shadow and Oliver. Green Arrow was so sick and injured he was hallucinating through it. Uh, readers, though, were very aware of it. This was not a sudden reveal. It had become canon since the incident occurred back in Green Arrow Volume Two, Issue Eleven. Although it wouldn't be confirmed until twenty one. That means the sexual assault was part of DC's history because they can't. Th 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 that's what they're calling it. Uh, sexual assault, by the way, uh, was part of DC's history for nearly 20 years. By the time Dragon Blood Limited uh, hits limited hit stands. Yet, despite this, Dixon still wrote in a sexual encounter between Hawk and Shadow because, again, <laughs> On its face, this would be a strange developing. Having sex with a woman your father conceived a, a, a child with during a one-night stand is not an average experience for most. However, the encounter that led to Robert being non-consensual pushes the whole event to something disturbing. What's worse is that this story did not happen in a vacuum. Dixon did not write this as fan fiction and self-published on his website. This was a vetted story approved by editors. Well, that's what I can say about all the bad content that you guys produce right now. And now, of course, they mention that Connor is now asexual in DC's pride because that's DC's way of saying, fuck y'all. We wanted to we, we want him to be this way. We know the person that originally wrote him never meant him to be that way. And because he's on our side, we want to do it out of spite because remember, the leftists now control DC. Now, it is weird that they act like it's something that's so odd, I guess, that a villain would do villain shit, including there's, there's not only villains that do that. There's people that are presented as anti-heroes that use, for that matter, their sexuality. And I'm meaning that in literal terms, like, hey, uh, th this character like Black Widow, you know what I mean, is a beautiful woman and therefore she will, you know, use sex as an object to, or not sex in itself, but her attractiveness or, and I guess it's still sexuality nonetheless, as a means to get what it is they want. And now she's act now DC's acting like, oh my God, how how could something like that be done to the this character that we, we thought were cool, was queer? Well, the character was never queer. That's just what it was. It was just a straight fucking male character. And it is comics at the end of the day. And usually that stuff is mentioned in passing. It's like, oh, we spend one panel on it and we move on. We're not trying to make some fucking romantic fucking romantic book. That's not what this is. This is just meant to be a book that is meant to be a book. So, yeah, they kept the character we knew was straight. The person writing it told you that was and they just could not accept that that was the case. This is why we got to come up with new stuff. Chuck Dixon is. He's doing a great job, by the way, now. He's doing his, uh, he did the Arc Haven stuff, and now he's doing some other stuff. We'll, I'll get him back on the show, and we'll talk about Chuck Dixon. I'm sorry. Actually, I'm going to ask Chuck Dixon about this and how it feels. This is going to be good. It's going to be good. 
You just listened to a clip from my podcast for Ken and sake, which is live throughout the week at 12 PM central on youtube.com slash young ripper five nine and odyssey.com slash at young ripper five nine. Be sure to check out my website, eric So you can stay up to date with everything it is that I'm doing. You can also become a member and get access to a bunch of cool perks and exclusive content, which includes a social media hub where you can interact with myself and other members. It even has an app that you can get, which is now live in the Google and Apple stores.